Good morning, you guys. We are going to get my lips done today, actually. It's uh, kind of early in the morning. I just wanted to come in here and film some before and after shots for you guys to start with. Um, I have had my lips done before. I didn't really feel the need to talk about it just because it was just something that I really wanted to do. Didn't really feel like having everybody else's opinions shoved down my throat. I was really happy doing it and I thought that that was all that mattered. For the first, like, I want to say like yeah six months you could you could tell that I had my lips done and I was really really happy with them so yeah that was last summer it has almost been an entire year I should have already got them redone but I just wanted to try a new place and it took a while to find a new place that I was really gonna be happy with so I found this one um, through a friend of mine so we are gonna go there today and get the lip injections done I'm going to bring you guys along I'm gonna share any of the information that um, I can get from Nikki that's um, the nurse that's doing my lips and hopefully this is somewhat informative I'm gonna bring you guys along the journey of what they look like after what they look like three days later a week later that sort of thing I want to just show you guys my before um, so this is what my lips look like right now uh, the main thing is there's a, a little bit of a lopsided thing going on I really want to um, get more volume in the, the one side of my lip which you'll see here and overall just a plumper top lip and maybe even fill out the bottom lip a little bit because I feel like on the one side again it's um, a little bit like not as plump either so fixing that like correcting that and then filling them kind of all over is sort of the main goal for today so we are going to get them done today gonna take you along let's head out So today we have come to Aloha Medical Spa to have my injections done. Nurse Nikki started off our appointment by just kind of doing an overview of my medical history and this was overseen by Danielle West. She is the medical director at Aloha. So we went through kind of my medical allergies, things of that nature, and my homework for the day before was no Advil, no alcohol, no Aleve, so the three A's as Nikki refers to them. Um, she asked me to come with no makeup on and the reason being is the cleaner my lips are, the less chance of infection. Um, as you'll see coming up, of course Nikki is going to scrub and clean my lips regardless, but not having anything on definitely just makes it that much easier. So coming up here, we're going to start the consultation portion and this is where Nikki is going to ask me what I envisioned for my lips. So now we're at the consultation portion. Um, I'm just going to ask Tasha, I'm going to have her look in the mirror and just kind of ask her what uh, she wants what outcome she wants in her lips. So I guess like the main thing uh, is which we already talked about was that just the the right side um, It almost feels like it needs to be like lifted up a bit like plumped up to sort of match the other side in general I sort of want the top lip plumper mm -hmm. and the bottom lip plumper But mm -hmm. I do want to try to correct just that difference. Yeah, and for, for sure I, I agree with you this side stags a little bit more mm -hmm. um, because there's not as much, um, there's more volume on the left side than there is on the right side. Um, whether this is a normal, um, a natural abnormality or from previous injections, but we can definitely correct. And that's why I love filler. You don't even need necessarily a lot of product to correct little irregularities in the lips. Like your bottom lip is nice. I do notice the sides will be a little bit smaller. Yeah. You know, give, add a little bit more shape to the top right and then add some volume definitely. and maybe just gloss the bottom a little bit more. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'll clean them with chlorhexidine, and then I'll like slather in a bunch of nice numbing cream so it makes the experience as comfortable as possible. Okay. You will we'll notice it doesn't really feel like much. It kind of just feels like cool water. Some people do find they can get dry after injections. It's really important to moisturize. Vaseline is great, but if you have polysporin, it also helps heal it faster okay. and moisturize. So this is actually a mix of lidocaine and tetracaine. So if anyone has allergies to those, um, just be careful and let your injector know ahead of time. But for the most part, lidocaine is widely used in su surgeries, the dentist. So most people have been exposed to it at some point in their life. Just a tip, um, I will give Tasha a Kleenex just in case any gets into her mouth because your tongue is really thin. Um, 
and it can numb really fast. And it's weird, it won't hurt mm -hmm. you, but to some people it's the weirdest part. Do not rub your lips together. <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. lipstick. Okay. That's the worst part. I can do that. So this is just in case, right? <laughs> okay. So we'll let that sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Um, so I always tell people, my biggest thing is comfort. This can be kind of a scary process, especially for your first time. So my biggest tips is I give you the squeezy balls, so the squeezy balls help, <laughs> uh, or a friend's hand. So if you have a support person, I'm totally open for you bringing somebody to accompany you and breathing, like meditation. Okay. So as I inject, I poke, breathe out, because sometimes okay. people hold their breath and that's where problems start. So. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Feeling numb? Mm-hmm. And it gets more numb, like I said, it, there's lidocaine in the product also. Okay. Um, so by the end, you'll be nice and nice and numb. <laughs> and, and breathe. Okay. So the first two injections usually hurt the most. So the bruising can get weird. <laughs> like I said, areas where I inject more um, can swell more. So don't be surprised. I can predict this is going to bruise. Um, it's probably going to swell more. You look so, so good. good. Like, <laughs> like I wanted, I was trying to be so silent, but I'm like, she's going to love it. But they're this. a work in progress, right? So this, yeah. this is definitely step one. Like I said, sometimes with corrective work, it's, it's, a, it's a couple steps. So Originally, like we had this little bump here. I try to blend it in, and sometimes I can. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't want to add, like, we even this out a lot more. Yeah. Um, but again, it's a work in progress. That was a full syringe, and yeah. I don't like throwing two or three syringes in someone at once, but not to say that you can't tolerate it. So once the swelling goes down, I created these beautiful little tubercles in the bottom, which make it look very natural. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the hyaluronic acid will draw fluid to it, so it'll get even smoother and shinier. And that's what I did the glossing technique. So this will be nice and smooth when you get it your lipstick on. <laughs> like it looks so good. Like normally I I want to put lipstick on to like make them Cover look good, up. but like they look good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They look good. yeah so, so we definitely. Yeah, I mean we're gonna have a nice bruise there. We might have a nice bruise there. There's a little bit more swelling there too, um, but the balance is better. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it's a work in progress. And yeah. I still think you need more, but I think we're gonna wait a little, two weeks and okay. two to four weeks. This bruise is going to get probably bigger and badder over the next day. Okay. Swelling's going to get worse over the next 48 hours, but by the end of 48 hours, we'll drastically reduce. Okay. Get, juice. get the pineapple juice. Get the arnica. I'm going to give you a nice pack right now. Oh my god, I'm smiling and I have lips. So. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, uh, so it is the next day. They are swollen as heck. I just have a little bit of lip balm on because they are feeling a little bit dry. Uh, very swollen. The bottom lip is like crazy swollen i would say that has the majority of the swelling there so yeah the biggest things i would say are the swelling and the bruising which uh nikki did let me know was going to happen i was very much aware that that was going to be a thing so i booked an appointment for two weeks from yesterday to go in and see nikki and then at that appointment we will sort of like look at the lips uh, in depth and see like does anything else need to be fixed do we need to go more there less there hey everybody so it has been officially two weeks. Today I actually have a consult with Nikki. We're gonna go over what they're looking like, um, if there's anything else that I want to be fixed or if I want more, that sort of thing. You can sort of see on this side, it still seems as though it's a little bit low. So it's gonna take a little bit of building that side up. Um, so I want that side to be a little bit more plump. Also overall, I think the top lip, I still want more in the top lip. The bottom lip, I'm actually Quite happy with I'm not sure that we're actually gonna touch the bottom lip today I'm gonna ask her she might want to do like a glossing technique like she did last time over the entire bottom lip but overall with the bottom lip I'm pretty happy I just sort of want the top lip to be uh, a bit bigger so last time with like the swelling like the top lip yes it was a little bit much like with the swelling but it was more so closer to what I wanted it to look like I still had like a top lip like when I smiled and stuff like that so um, yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along today and we are going to just sort of, hopefully this will sort of be like the last kind of, you know, fixing everything and then over 
time I'll just have to like upkeep it sort of thing. Okay, so we are here. So I guess the main thing was the one side still needs a little more plumping, which I think we kind of knew that the yeah. last time that it's going to take some time to build it up. Mm -hmm. So I guess like just this side, um, yeah, a little more. We'll build it up a little bit more. And then, you know, how we had that bump in the side. Uh, like it's obviously smoothed out yeah. a lot, but I think that because we smoothed it out, there's almost like almost too much volume Bigger on the underside yes. versus here. And I kind of forecasted that we might have to dissolve that, but I was trying to blend it, and I don't like doing both at the same time because no. you can get a bit of swelling from the hyaluronidase, which is the dissolver. Mm -hmm. So what had happened is you have product kind of under there from previous that collects. So when I try to blend it in, sometimes it can actually push it out more. Okay. So what I'm going to do is for that previous bump that was there, I'm going to just put a little bit and dissolve it. Okay. And then I'll add a tiny bit more on this side. This is what my lips are looking like. Much more balanced on this side. We got a lot more in there. Uh, they look so good. I was just saying like, I have a top lip. That's like my dream. Um, there is um, a little bit uh, under this side of the lip. Um, just some old filler that um, we tried to blend, yeah. but um, we're not sure if we're like overly happy with it. So I am gonna come back in like another week. We're gonna, once this is sort of settled, we're gonna take a look at it again and we might do a little bit of dissolving too. So if you guys have had your lips done, but you maybe weren't, um, you know, happy with the work that was done before, I don't think you should be, you know, scared to go and get them done again or get them fixed because you can find someone that will correct them as well. So we're going to let this settle and then we're going to come back and sort of take another look at them. Good morning, you guys. So it has been a couple weeks since you guys last saw me at my last appointment. Um, I actually have an appointment today. That's why I'm vlogging. Uh, so we're gonna go and just have Nikki look at everything and see how everything's sort of turning out and and see if there's anything we want to fix. I'm really happy with the way that everything's going, but Nikki's gonna take a look and see. Uh, we were gonna talk about this little bump that's kind of under here from some old uh, injections from like another place. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, if she wants to add any volume anywhere she'll let me know I'm not sure that we're gonna do that today though um, because you know I'm going on vacations so I don't want to have bruised lips I literally have a top lip at all times even when I have my mouth closed there is this little uh, bump that we kind of are gonna deal with um, removing from the old injections that I got last summer right there it might not look like much, but when I wear lipstick, especially, you can really see it's like very, very bumpy in that area, so. Okay, right. so, so two week follow up yes. from last time. Very happy. Good, yeah, yes. like I saw the very pictures. Very I, I, I creeped you, I don't love it. A little pout pout. <laughs> so if we lift up, you can actually see, as I start to lift, you can see it there. And then as I flip, you can see right there. That's like a little bit, so sometimes, yeah. So it's under the lip line so it's a little bit of a almost looks flat so when it rests on the teeth mm -hmm. it it looks like a bump and yeah, it, yeah you can kind of see it when you smile mm -hmm. when i take that little bit of volume away from there that will create even more symmetry in this side of the lips so God, this girl. so there's the area right there Hello from a much more tan me. I am wearing a top. Let me just say that for starters. I wanted to give you guys sort of an update on everything. So here we are. Um, this is what my lips are looking like. I am really happy with them. So uh, if you guys remember from the last footage that I showed you, my uh, we had that little bump that we wanted to deal with and all of that sort of thing. You can see like even more of my teeth on this side. I'm really happy with sort of this final result. And um, I think I'm gonna see Nikki again when I get back from my trip because I'm going on vacation tomorrow. Um, just to sort of look at them and see. But I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really happy. I think that they're looking really even and um, natural, but just like exactly what I wanted. We've corrected 
everything. So yes, I thought I would just sort of update you on that. Hey guys, I just wanted to check in with a final sort of um, overall update. I also wanted to do a little bit of a Q&A. So this is basically what my lips look like now. Um, all I have is some lip balm on. I wanted to share this lip balm with you. It is a sunscreen lip balm by Sunbum. This is in the flavor banana and it has an SPF of 30 in it. This is my favorite lip, lip balm like ever. I just wanna apply it for the rest of my life. Feels amazing, unlike any other lip balm I've ever used. Smells so good. Um, makes my lips look really great without wearing any kind of lipstick and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, this lip balm, <laughs> so amazing. Anywho, I'm very, very happy with what my lips are looking like. I have been wearing just like my natural lip with lip balm very frequently over the last little while, but I did want to answer a couple of questions that I was asked by a lot of you guys on Instagram. I did already answer a lot of them in the beginning of this video, but there was a couple that I wasn't able to answer. So the first question would be, how often is it recommended to get them redone? My nurse, Nikki, who did my lips, she let me know that depending on the product, usually it is six months to a year. I have had had lip injections done before in the past and um, I waited about a year to get them done again. I went from like 100 to like let's say a really really full lip to about 30 when I um, didn't get them touched up. So uh, you really want to um, keep up with them. I would say that too like once you're keeping up with them like so we have my shape now and now we're just going to be doing top ups so you know like half of a syringe here half of a syringe there like every six months to a year and then that leads me to the next question which is um the cost a lot of you guys wanted to know about the cost this is going to range place to place from wherever you go so it's obviously going to be more expensive in like the big cities and things like that but typically the um, price range is 500 to 700 for a syringe I have one and a half syringes in my lips in total. One other question that I was asked as well was how to find um, a nurse um, to do you know, your lip injections and research I would say is, is your best friend, like Instagram and really seeing the work that they've done on other people. I mean, the proof is in the pudding, like their before and after shots and um, that kind of thing, you, you know, you can go and meet with them for a consultation. If you live in the greater Toronto area, I highly, 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 highly recommend um, Nikki. She is just so amazing and I have 100% trust in her and I know that I will be happy with the outcome always. Other than that, I would say like, yeah, Instagram is your best friend and really seeing the work and maybe um, reaching out to people that have gotten limb injections and where they've liked and where they've not. And that's honestly how I found both of the people that have done my lips is just through like word of mouth. I think the last thing I want to round off this video by saying is if you do not like lip injections, don't watch lip injection videos. I did this for myself, nobody else for my self-confidence to feel better about myself. I have a lot of people with full lips telling me that I don't need lip injections or people that just don't care what their lips look like. I happen to care. There's nothing wrong with changing something that you are unhappy with and I really wish that stigma would sort of disappear because I think it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, anyways, I am very happy and thank you for watching and thank you, um, I hope that this uh, helped you uh, whether you it helped you know that you want to get them or it helped you decide that you don't. Um, either way, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.